Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Brian Yanselson, and I'm here with Caleb Harmel of the Southern Athletic Association Champions. Harmel recorded 11 tackles and a sack to help the Tigers clinch the SAA championship over Birmingham Southern, earning himself the title of SAA Defensive Player of the Week. Caleb, you and the Tigers are SAA champions. How does that sound to you? Um, it's definitely a huge honor, you know. Um, we've been working hard all year, definitely been putting in the work. Um, just defensive side, offensive side, it's really clicked. I feel like we have great chemistry, um, and that's really grown throughout the year. So, you know, it's just a lot of hard work coming to fruition. Um, great coaching staff, you know, just making sure we're on, on the ball day in, day out. Um, and we're just thankful and excited to, uh, you know, BSA champions and, you know, hopefully uh, make a run in the playoffs. It was an absolute nail biter of a finish. The defense coming up with that stop on the two point conversion attempt with just 23 seconds left. What was the discussion in the huddle ahead of that season saving play? Uh, you know, BSC was a great team, definitely one of the best teams we played um, all year. You know, they had a great rushing offense, great rush, uh, great passing offense. Um, so we didn't really know what exactly they were going to try and do on that two-point conversion. Um, give them a lot of props for going for it, you know, trying to take the, um, take the win. Um, but we just wanted to do our job, you know. Um, one of our mottos is bend, don't break. Um, and we know we had bended, you know, they got the touchdown with whatever you said, 23 seconds left. Um, so it was, you know, kind of a letdown, but we knew we just had to continue to do our job. Um, and we ended up making the play uh, and winning the game. Were y'all as nervous as viewers at home were watching that? Uh, I wouldn't say nervous. Uh, like I said, we just wanted to get the job done. So um, definitely was a letdown that we let them score and we had to be in that situation. Um, but we were just excited, you know, just to get the opportunity to, um, you know, put it to them and declare ourselves as the champions. Coach Urban has talked a lot about how the team really goes at its goals one at a time. The first of those goals was winning the conference championship. So how does it feel as a team to finally accomplish that first one and now being able to move on to the next ones? Uh, it feels great. You know, a lot of us have been here for a really long time. We have a few um, fifth year seniors who came back for this. You know, I'm a junior. I'm a lot of seniors who have been putting in a lot of work throughout the past three, four, five years. Um, so it really means the world to us, you know. You know, day in and day out, in season, off season, lifting extra weights, going to watch extra film, um, just really trying to protect, uh, perfect ourselves, perfect our craft, um, and then really come to cohesiveness as a team. Um, so it just really means the world to us. You guys have one more home game here in the regular season against Rhodes before moving on to the NCAA tournament. What are you most excited about of what's to come in these next few weeks? Just the experience. You know, like I've said, this is this means the world to this team. And, you know, I've loved every single one of these guys. I've loved getting to know them over the past um, three years. Um, so just being able to spend this time with them. You know, so thankful for the fifth-year seniors who came back, getting to spend that extra time with them and getting to do this for them and with them uh, just means the world for me. And I think that'll, you know, create memories that'll last a lifetime. So at Trinity, we've got cross country, men's and women's soccer, volleyball, football, all in the NCAA playoffs. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the success of each of those teams at Trinity motivates you and the Tiger football team to keep with your own success? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, um, as a football team, we love supporting the other sports teams, um, love going to the games, watching how great they are, watching them succeed. Um, but I know, I think my freshman year, you know, we were seeing all these other sports teams ranked. And as a team, we we're just kind of like, dang, like, we're the only team not ranked, like the only fall sport not ranked. Um, so, you know, it does kind of push us, you know, we want to be, you know, top 10, top 25 all across the board um, as a university. And just props to all the other sports teams. Um, they're doing an awesome job. Uh, I'm really excited to watch them as they go into the playoffs um, and us as well. We're out here and we have a beautiful day today, nice and sunny. We've had some really cold days, so it's quite confusing. But would you say now that we've reached November, is it time to play Christmas music or do you have to wait until December? You know, I'm glad you asked this question because I'm a huge Christmas. Uh, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Um, I think I really get that from my mom. You know, she's a huge Christmas person. Um, we'll start playing Christmas music in July. So I kind of brought out the Christmas music already in October. Um, already set up my Christmas tree. So, you know, I'm excited. We started playing it in the locker room after practice a few days. So definitely time for the Christmas music to come out for sure. So Michael Jewett said he's more of a Michael Buble fan. You like Buble or Mariah Carey more? Buble, Buble 100%. I give Jewett his props. That's good. Good choice, Jewett. Now before Christmas, we do have Thanksgiving. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, I'm a big ham guy. You know, I love the ham, a little dressing on the side. 
Um, but definitely ham over turkey for sure. What about apple, pecan, or pumpkin pie? Gotta go with the pecan pie. Pecan pie, yeah. A very southern answer right there, wouldn't sure. you say? Yeah, you know, being from a small town, population 300, uh, definitely have a few southern vibes um, that I show every once in a while, but pecan pie wins it 100%. All right, finally, you have to weigh in on this heated debate amongst the team. Who is the best dancer on the Tiger football team? Yeah, you know, I've been watching, paying attention to everybody else's answers, um, but I'm going to throw a little curveball in there. Say the best dancer on the team has definitely got to be Coach Mahalik, uh, defensive coordinator, you know, linebackers coach. Uh, he might not, not give off those vibes, uh, but, you know, every once in a while during practice, there'll be a song or two, you know, get him reminiscing on the good old days. He might put a few moves out, um, but I definitely he has what it takes um, to be the best dancer on the team for sure. All right. You heard him, Coach. We might have to figure this out with the players that have been mentioned. Now, Coach Mahalik thrown out there. Thank you so much, Caleb. Congratulations on your award and the conference championship. Good luck to you and the Tigers as the season continues. Thank you. Thank you.